Hello folks, welcome back. Today I will be doing a review of my brand new survival kit. Firstly, on this side, we have some super heavy duty and super strong duct tape. And in this pouch right here, we also have an Altoid tip. And inside, we have some waterproof matches. And then we have a compass with a thermometer. And then all the way in the back we have the striker for the matches. And then in this little pouch right here. We have two lighters. And then on the top right here, inside, we have a pocket knife. And we also have an Altoid tin. And inside, we have three more of these fish hooks and one really heavy fishing weight. And then inside, we also have a flashlight. And then, and then in this front pouch right here, we have a small tin. And inside, we have some wire for making animal traps. And some small pins for marking your trail in case you can't find your way back to your campsite or your survival shelter. Then inside, we have some tin foil. And then some extra tin foil. And you can use it for molding it with your hand into maybe a cup for purifying water. And then we also have some paracord. Inside, in this front pouch, we have a large, heavy-duty trash bag. You could use it as a rain poncho or a small survival shelter. And then, inside, you also have a yo-yo reel. So, essentially, you pull as much line out as you need, and you see this little indentation? Well, you put this little piece of wire in there, and then you put your fish hook on there, and your weight on this string, and then whenever a fish tugs, it'll pull that wire out and reel it in. So maybe leave it there for an hour, and go make a shelter and then come back and you'll have a nice and fresh fish waiting for you. And here we have a friction handsaw. So this is how it works. So you wrap it around something, and then you pull it back and forth and it cuts the wood in half using, fr using friction. And then inside we have some toilet paper because you don't want to have to wipe with leaves. And then we have a little aid kit that I'm still working on. But inside we have lots of band-aids. 
And then we have lots of gauze pads. And then we have surgical tweezers for picking out any uh, splinters or thorns that might get stuck in your skin. And then in the back, there's a pouch, and inside we have some extra paracord. And then on this side, right here, we have a full-size shemog. Just so you can see how big this thing is, it is ginormous. So maybe you could use it as a small survival blanket. And I will be upgrading this survival kit in the future, so be on the lookout for a future video. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.